Welcome to TFL Trucks new feature, old versus new. And today we're gonna to find out which of these two trucks is more fuel efficient. To my left is a 2002 Silverado with the 6.6 Duramax. And to my right, well, that's a brand new GMC Sierra Denali with the 6.6 Duramax. So let me have the owner of this truck come on over. Hey, Roman. Hey, Andre, how's it going? This is my baby. All right, why are we doing this, Andre? I think I wanna see how far technology has come over 14 years. And Ken, come on over, you'll be driving the GMC. Now you've got the brand new truck. You think this truck will do better than that truck? Oh, I think so. All right, coming up next on the fast lane truck, we're gonna find out which of these two trucks is more fuel efficient on our 100 mile test loop. This is a 14,000 pound trailer. We can put 10,000 pounds on it. The trailer weighs about 4,000. 4, now, an interesting thing, because he weighs so much, as he drives forward, he may actually tip this up before the back axle gets on. So what I better do is lock this down. I have to do that in my truck. So I've got it locked in place. I'm going to release it and see if it goes down now. Come forward a little bit. This old Silverado has 160,000 miles on the odometer, which means it's just worn in. Of course, it's showing a little bit of wear and tear. The seats are a little rough. If you push the buttons too hard, some of them may pop out, but you'd be surprised with some of the nice features, including heated seats and my favorite feature, a tape deck. Now, how cool is that? See, see I have a very classy rear view camera right here. Let me show you how it worked. That come off of like a Mercury Zephyr or something from the <laughs> 30s or what is that? It's working. I can see the trailer. How much was that? See, that's technology. That was about $45. Now this Sierra is a Denali version, which means it's got all the bells and whistles, including, well, I don't have it, but if you had a Samsung, you could actually charge your phone just by putting it in the arm center rest. How cool is that? Plus, it's brand spanking new. It only has just over a thousand miles on it. Now, of course, it has heated seats. It also has cooled seats. It has XM radio. It has all the electronic safety features that you'd expect in a truck that costs over $67,000. And that's a heck of a lot more than Andre's truck. First way, freeway. It's the first way. Do you have a truck number? Uh, fast lane number one. All right, so last price, let's get your ticket. All right, thank you. So this is our standard 98 mile highway loop. We fill up at the same, at this truck stop. We go 98 miles, come back to the same pump. And the method we use is double click. Let it fill up, wait 30 seconds, and top off. This truck has a computer, trip computer, that will tell us the average fuel economy. And then we calculate the gallons into the miles to come up with the final number. However, my old truck does not have an average fuel economy reading. So we'll have to rely on the pump. Now you guys know that heavy duty trucks aren't rated by the EPA. So Kent, I'm gonna ask you, what kind of MPG do you think you'll get on a 100 mile test loop? With pulling a trailer, I think it's gonna be around 13. They both have the Allison's, but this has a 60. And you, Andre, what's your I'm, guess? I'm concerned that at 70 miles an hour, I'm gonna be running higher RPMs. I'll say 11. All right, I'm gonna take a guess. I'm gonna say this is gonna get eight, and this is gonna get 12. Whoa! <laughs> Let's see who's right. Andre, you've got the scale there. Ticket, how much do we weigh? A hair under 19,000 pounds with no passengers. That means with the three of us, we're about 19,750. Okay. I, I go for that, so you're rounding, rounding us up to 250 a piece. Yeah, I'm about, about, about <laughs> there. All right, so, so the question is, how much can your truck pull? Because we know this truck can pull it. Yeah, this truck can pull this weight. My truck, the 2002 Silverado, gross combined rating is 22,000. So we're, so we're like, good. 
about 2200 pounds um, under that. Now while these trucks both have the 6.6 .6 liter Duramax, there is a significant difference in output. Andre's truck puts out 300 horsepower and 520 pound-foot of torque, and this GMC puts out 397 horsepower and 765 pound-foot of torque. Now Andre's truck has a five-speed transmission, this has a six-speed transmission. They both have 373 axle ratios, but there is a significant difference. This truck is a lot heavier. We're going to weigh them to find out exactly how much heavier, but it is heavier. And that is a disadvantage because in this old versus new, the trick is we're going to have that truck tow this truck and this truck tow that truck. This one does have DEF tank, DEF, diesel exhaust fluid, and you got to open the hood to put it in. This one didn't require that for the emissions. Now this truck's 14 years old. I mean, it may go another 14 or more. These trucks can last forever. That's why they're body on frame. It's the real McCoy. Now these Duramax, they both have hand pumps on them. This one's mostly to prime the fuel, or fill up the fuel filter when you change fuel filters. This one, if you run out of fuel, you've got to prime it or it will not start. This new truck has a 36 gallon fuel tank. Yep. How big is yours? 26. Yeah, that's, that's quite a difference. So 10 gallons less. Now this truck, if we were to max it out with a goose deck, we could go 13,900. Yep. But we don't have a goose deck. No, and my truck maxes out goose neck or bumper pull at 12,000. Really? This is only 13.9. I surprised me. I thought it was. It's higher. not a big difference, is I it? I thought this was 14 years old, so only 2,000 pounds. <laughs> so we're matched pretty closely on these trucks, and both of them, you know, you don't disengage a hub, so the hub always turns on both trucks. Mm -hmm. They both front end, independent suspension in the front end. Yep. Uh, yeah, this does have quite a bit beefier frame, but I'm surprised they did. Towing rating is not a lot higher on this. 2016. Right. Okay. You gotta crank it, you gotta level it. Come on, Ken. All right, another fill up. Begin fueling. Come on, old girl, I, I know you can do this. Now, my truck is mostly stock, but there are two exceptions. I have an air raid cold air intake system and an MBRP exhaust system. But the computer is all stock. I do have 17 inch rims. I do not need to roll on 20s, because this is a working truck. And I certainly don't need this, this chin for fuel efficiency. I know it's there, it's maybe more aerodynamic, but I can go off-road. Hey, I even broke my fog lamp. Andre, it's just me and you on this loop because- Where's uh, Kent? He said he wouldn't ride in your truck. He was so disgusted by it. He said he did not want to be anywhere inside of this old truck. He said if it's not a new truck, he's not driving. Well, you know what, actually, um, he's a little bit of more extra ballast, so I, it's a good thing for me. I'm gonna check the watch, 30 seconds, and then top off, the same method. Okay, good. Now, let's begin to talk about the elephant in the room, right? Because the very first thing people are gonna be wondering is, you're not towing the same weight. Right. No, we're not. No. No. But, but this is not a scientific no. uh, a, a video. This is more fun. We want to see how far the technologies have come. And it's fun to tell one truck with the other. So I just weighed uh, the Sierra. The reway. Four digit number, lower left hand corner. Six, four, two, eight. Well, we just reweighed the truck. So uh, we're about to find out how much this bad boy weighs. Guess how much it weighs? 7,300 pounds. Now, the base truck is supposed to weigh 7,392. Oh. Our truck weighs 7,740. Whoa. Yeah, so it's quite a bit heavier. 7,740. Yeah. My truck is probably more maneuverable also. It's a little bit smaller. I can go in tighter places. And I think I can actually match it fairly closely on fuel economy. So I do have cruise control, Robert. You do have cruise I, I control. I do have cruise control. Which is good because we run this test at 70 miles an hour. Can you still hear me? I can barely hear you. Okay. I've got both diesel clatter coming out the front and kind of a, kind of a, well, let's call it, let's be, let's not call it kind of a flatulent party sound out the back. Let's call it a deep diesel rumble coming from the rear of the truck. Yes. Even though it's kind of flatulent. This is an aftermarket exhaust system. 
the truck is breathing a little bit better. I cleaned the um, air filter. Yeah, you also cleaned the leaves out. That yeah, nice. I moved some leaves out. <laughs> and I cleaned the air filter about six months ago. So, you know, here's the thing, right? Technology over 14 years has certainly advanced. Absolutely. So what we have now is a truck that, well, at least in the GMC, that is much more of a car, right? It's got a lot more of the... It's quieter. Uh, yeah, the whole experience is yeah, refined. It's refined. It's got a lot more safety features. So it's got, like, proximity distance control so you don't bump into things. You know, it has a lane keep so it keeps you in the lane. It keeps you start wandering out so it's got all the stuff that you know a very fancy car would have yeah this of course is more of a trucky truck yes i don't have a lot of those features no you don't but you I don't, don't i don't even have a brake controller here yeah you had to get that aftermarket I, thing. yeah it's an aftermarket thing i do have tow haul mode yeah which is important yeah but i can't believe that 14 years ago in a heavy duty truck you had to get an aftermarket brake controller and by the way we're almost maxed out really because my max towing is 12,000 pounds. Well, we're right on the edge. And, and if you have 7,700 pound truck with a 4,000 pound trailer, you're basically, you know, that's almost near the limit of the truck, but the truck is doing pretty well, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I think it's doing really well. It feels uh, very confident in this you even have an exhaust brake? No, I don't. Um, I don't have, I have an aftermarket tra uh, trailer brake controller. Oh, well this has a factory brake controller. This has triple sealed doors. This has foam memory seats. And a big crew cab. But you know what? You have to fill up your dev tank from the hood. I, I don't like that. Now Roman, how come they got octane ratings here? Why don't we see a cetane rating over here? <laughs> Why is that, Mr. Truck? Why Trump? is that? I don't know. Why is that, Mr. Truck? I Trump? guess nobody cares what their seat tank rating is. But there are different kinds of diesels. There is. And then, like now, it's telling you they blend number one and number two. That's that paraffin wax that's in number two that lubricates things. It's not in number one, so you got to run a blend. Keep it from gelling up on you. I'm going to time 30 seconds so we can top off. This is the way we always do that. Do our dance jig while we're waiting. We got five more seconds. Five uh -oh. more seconds. And I have my calculator here. Okay, okay. go ahead. Okay, and the final gallon number, 9.472. How much was that, Andre? 9.472. So I'm gonna do the calculation. 98 divided by 9.472. The truck said 11, right? Yeah. Woo! It's actually 10.3. Who are you going to believe? GM or your computer? 10.3. <laughs> okay. So that's actually less than what we, we, we thought. Yeah, yeah. Holy moly, we're near the end. Yeah, Andre. Um, what? I wish we knew what the truck said. I know, but it's really loud in here. There's this wind has been an issue, but it's been an issue for both trucks. Yeah, you know that the, the engine and the wind noise do get tiring after a while. Yeah, if you were towing cross country, I think you want to be a little bit more comfortable, a little bit quieter. Yeah, but we don't know if that's because you know, the seal, after 14 years, has given up the ghost on that window and has perished, or if it came out of the factory that way. It's hard to tell. Well, but it's also the design, right? They tuck their doors in for the newer trucks and this door goes all the way to the roof so it's kind of design oriented as well but you know I, I think the essence of a diesel heavy duty truck it can perform near its limit just as well as when it's not straining yeah we are coming back and you know we're heading into this ferocious headwind yes and I'm thinking to myself when I'm biking not on a motorcycle. That's Go, yeah. going into a wind is much harder than climbing. Exp almost exponentially. Yeah, so it's like it really is like going up a very steep grade, and there's a truck just spewing its guts out on the side of the road <laughs> what? that was towing a much smaller trailer. And I'm yes. thinking that's because we're basically stressing the engine going into this fierce headwind. And look, yes. your truck. It's all the cool. temperatures. All the temperatures stayed cool, thankfully. Thank you, truck. So now we only have one thing left to answer, Andre. Let's get the number at the pump. Let's get the number at the pump okay. and then see if a 14-year-old truck can 
compete with a modern truck. You know what? I, I used up a quarter tank. If that, but that's only a 26 all, gallon tank. Yeah, it, it's a smaller tank. And, and let's face it, those old fuel gauges, yeah, they were not, gas gauges, man. <laughs> they were just not, to, notoriously bad. They're not very precise. All right, let's see what she'll say. I'm really hoping for a close result, maybe 10. I'm really hoping. In Russian, how do you say, Ken smells like an old burrito. <laughs> burrito? Ken's <laughs> uh, nice. breath smells of old burrito. Ты знаешь, Ken пахнет как старая burrito. We're still under in nine gallons, so there is hope. Oh. Okay, 30 seconds. Nine point one seven. One one seven. Okay. That was the old result. Ninety eight divided by nine point one one seven. It's a little bit better. It's it's ten point seven versus ten point three on the new truck. So we came back to Kent's house to drop off the trailer and Kent does not know what the Silverado did. So Andre, tell him the news. My truck, my 2002 Silverado, 10.7. 10.7, what's the other one, 10.3 or Three. something? 10.3. Wow. Hey, now that's impressive. You weigh 1,800 pounds less, that's probably the secret of your yes, success. Yes, yes, I have less weight, but I was towing your more truck. More weight. That's I was right. towing your towing truck. More okay. So we figured wow. it out. We figured it out, Kent. We figure 100 more horsepower and 245 more pound foot of torque in the GMC is going to mean you're going to use more fuel. Makes a lot more. Even that extra power. gear, a six speed versus a five speed, that should have helped. Dude, it's 100 more horsepower. It's 245 more pound yeah, foot of torque. Yeah, it's, but that matters wide open. If you're just kind of going down the road at 2,000 RPM, that's not the same thing. How about one more challenge? What's that? Zero to 60. Find out which one's faster? Yeah. All right, we'll do zero to 60. As always, this is Roman and Kent, MrTruck.com. And Andre. Saying thanks for watching and be sure to stay tuned for the zero to 60 run because I think I know which one's going to be faster. I'm in my 2002 Duramax 2500 HD. I don't have traction control. Okay. Here we go. 35, 45, 50, 60. Okay. Huh. Not too bad. 898. Just under nine seconds. Hey, for an older truck, this is not bad. Remember, this is a mile above sea level. Let's try one more in this direction. No traction control. See if it hooks up just a little bit better. I think it was a little better hookup. 8.1. So it seems to be um, somewhere around 8.1 or 8.2. Our best record 0 to 60 on this closed course is in a 2016 GMC Sierra Light Duty 1500 with a 6.2 liter V8 and an 8 speed. And that was just under 7 seconds at 6.96. Um, so an 8.1 second run in a heavy duty truck. It's pretty impressive. Hey Andre, those tires look pretty shot. I think the tire response will get a lot of exposure on this video. I absolutely think so. We're comparing two cool trucks and a lot of people are interested in it. So if you want to put tires on the truck, please go to tfltruck.com and find the email under connect and let us know. Damn boys, we're down to 11 MPG. What the hell happened? Well, we're going uphill and we're heading into the wind. We okay. were 14 over at the turnaround. <laughs> yeah, we were. And now it's all different. But of course, there could be a small discrepancy be between what we see here and the pump. So let's get the pump number. Hey, Kent, who do you blame for that? You know who you blame. 
I blame somebody who loaded the truck with these giant mirrors sticking straight out. <laughs> Those are my aftermarket uh, good towing mirrors. I saw Andre throwing a parachute in the back of the truck. <laughs> yeah, I saw, there is. There is a parachute back there. It's called a tonneau cover on its way out. <laughs>